Hi guys, uh, Paul Leeming here from Leeming Luck Pro. I'm just going to do a quick and dirty ETTR tutorial. It won't take long and this is just a rough and ready one. Uh, just so that I can get something out there before I do a more detailed version later. Okay, so ETTR, exposed to the right, is really simple. I'm going to do it in about 60 seconds or less. Uh, right now I am ETTR'd and as you can see on the screen the uh, image is, I'm using B-Log here on the Panasonic and it's flat but notice how the exposure meter says plus two, plus two and a half but there are no zebras on screen. This is the ETTR position for this shot. So what is ETTR? Let's look for the zebras. Whoa, there's the zebras. Okay, so obviously this is hot and overexposed and not usable as a picture. So what we want to do to use the zebras is ignore that little meter down the bottom and rotate our iris until the zebras in the shot just disappear okay and that is our ettr position now notice how it's plus two if you continue down to where it says zero which is about there look how dark that image is what you've done is kill about two stops of highlight range and increase your shadow noise by two stops not, neither of what you really want. So what we'd want to do is instead of looking at that uh, exposure meter down the bottom, you can turn it off if you want or if it's possible on your camera, but basically use the zebras and open your iris until bang. We see some zebras on the wall. So if you wanted to let the wall go and blow out, let's say that's a window in the background, then you may say, okay, I, I want to let that go because it's not part of the scene and there's no zebras on the important part, which is my skin tone. So let's go up to there. So there you can start to see zebras on my skin tone. We do not ever want zebras on the skin tone. That is a bad, big no-no. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce iris to there. Notice how there's basically no zebras on any part of my face. There's a little bit on the wall, but if we wanted to keep that wall, that's fine. So let's drop that to there. That is your ETTR position. It's really that simple, guys. Just basically look at the, for the zebras, open the exposure, there's the zebras. Okay, let's drop it down to there. ETTR, done. Really, it's that simple. And basically from here, all you wanna make sure before you do this is have your white balance set. That way your RGB channels are all equally weighted and white balance and zebras will work in tandem to give you the best dynamic range. Then basically open your iris. Oh, there's the zebras. Okay, we want nothing on skin. That's good. I, if I was also on the background, great. Let's drop it a little more. There you go, perfect. And if you're shooting in the dark, guys, use lights. It's not magic. Uh, you know, there's only so much your cameras can do. They are not 20 plus stops. They're about 11, 12 stops. So if you're shooting in the dark, same principles apply. Uh, I'm not using any lighting here, just a window. But, you know, get your exposure up with lights uh, or ISO, ISO is fine. Uh, you can see here on the Panasonic, it's ISO 400, but this could be done in the dark the exact same way. I would up my ISO, look for the zebras, there they are. Okay, drop them back down, walls clear. Done, that's ETTR, really simple, and you use all the maximum dynamic range of your camera. See you in the next one, guys, bye.